Hello everyone, welcome to our new demonstration of Flat Rate Shipping Per Product Pro version 2.0. Uh, the main difference between this version and our last version is the tiered shipping. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. For this demonstration, I'm going to walk through the initial setup and then show you how to look on the front end. So this is our demonstration site. We have a few test products set up here. So let's go ahead and walk through the install part. Um, after you've installed the files for the application, you can head over to your Magento admin panel and the first step is always just to make sure that the install went correctly. So for that, head over to System, Configuration, click in Advance, and let's just double check that the module is there and in fact enabled. It should show up as RegStage underscore per product shipping pro tiered, and we have it enabled. Now the next step is go to Shipping Methods, and you can see here, this is our newest version. It'll be called Per Product Shipping Pro Dash Tiered. So if we go ahead and open that up, let's switch this over to Enabled. The title um, can be whatever you want. We usually recommend something such as Choose Shipping Method, and I'll show you how that will look on the front end in just a second. There is a few different types of calculation methods. Just like the Pro version had, you also have the single highest value or single lowest value, which will take the single highest uh, shopping expense in the cart or single lowest expense and make that the total. You can also do the conventional tiers, which is what I'm going to set up today, or reaching a tier unlocks a new rate for all quantities. So if I just set up one tier, Maybe I set up my quantity at 5, so all products after quantity of 5 will have this one rate applied to it. Um, but to give you a better understanding, let's go ahead and do an example here of conventional tiers. Uh, first things first, we're going to set up the country. So for today's example, I'm going to use the United States. And let's do a ground method label. So set US underscore ground here. I'm going to put my default rate at $5. And let's also do an overnight. And I'm going to put my default rate at $10. You can specify which countries you want down below. Right now we're just going to go with USA. So go ahead and save that. And one thing I'd like to point out, too, as part of the install, um, if we head over to our attributes, by just installing the files, you will already get one attribute and one attribute set created for you. So it'll be called Per Product Shipping Pro Tiered. That is the name of the attribute that should be installed. And this is something you can just double check again to make sure that your install went correctly. And if I head over to Manage Attribute Sets, it'll be installed in your default folder. I can scroll down here to the bottom and I'll see Per Product Shipping Pro tiered with the attribute already inside. So just make sure that you have all of that there and then we can move forward. So let's go ahead and actually create some uh, tiered shipping for one of our products. So for this example, I'm going to use Test Product A. So on the back end, I'm going to find my test product A, open it up, and head over to Per Product Shipping Pro Tiered. Let's go ahead and add a couple rates. So you can see this is my US Ground or US Overnight. So I'm going to do one for US Ground and one for US Overnight. Now I'm going to set up a rule here that starts at quantity 3. Do that for both of them. So right now, our default rate for U.S. ground is $5, meaning if they ordered one, it's going to charge $5. If they order two, it'll charge $10. If they order three, it'll charge $15, so on and so forth. Same for overnight, except it'll be $10, $20, $30, etc. By doing these tiers, we're going to be able to offer discounts to our clients for ordering in bulk, or we could even charge more. Uh, it really depends on how your setup of your business works. 
So I'm going to say once they've ordered a quantity of three, I'm going to reduce my U.S. ground from $5 to $3. And I'm going to reduce my overnight from $10 to $7. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay, now let's see how it looks on the front end. Here's my test product. I'm going to add it to my cart. Scroll down. Okay. So for here, I'm choosing to ship it to the United States. I'm going to send it off to New York. And right here by default, you can see I have a ground rate of $5 or an overnight rate of $10. And again, that's because my quantity is set at 1. If I were to switch this to 2, and scroll down, you can see now it's doubled. It went from 5 to 10, and from 10 to 20. Now where the tiers kicks in is once I switch this over to 3. Instead of the rates going up to $15 each, and $20 each, or $30 each, they're now going to be at 13 and 27. Now there's no limit to the number of tiers you can set. Uh, you can have one for each quantity, so as each one increases, you're able to offer a discount. Um, it's really up to you. Well, that's how this would work. And the customer can then proceed to checkout, receive the discount, and be on their way.